Hello and welcome. My name is Sanjay Soni. Here is a micro learning readiness video on Cassandra API. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Now, let's get started. Hi, Govind. How are you doing today? I'm doing very fine. Thank you very much. Awesome. So what do you do at Microsoft? I'm a program manager on Azure Cosmos DB team. I work on a few other set of features. Uh, and I basically focus on our customers to adopt our platform successfully. So you work with customers? Yes, I, day in and day out. That's exciting. <laughs> yes. So let's get started with my first question. Sure. So what is Cassandra API? So Cassandra API is Apache Cassandra 3.11 compatible offering, which provides a ready platform for Cassandra users and developers. It is also compliant with binary protocol v4 platform. And we also ensure SLA for performance, availability, and throughput. So Govind, why should customers use Cassandra API? A great question, Sanjay. Uh, today, customers who run very large Cassandra clusters have to manage an operating system, have to manage a Java virtual machine, have to manage a garbage collector, and Cassandra mm -hmm. itself, right? And then you, as a database administrator, are forced to know implementation of database itself. You have to manage the read repairs and compaction to get read performance. You also need to know about GMX and configuration managed to get the right kind of configuration. The th most important reason after uh, uh, all these cases is the cost of operations. Mm -hmm. Our Cassandra API is cheaper than you managing your Cassandra on your infrastructure on-premise or on the cloud. And third important reason is that your existing code will work out of the box with Cassandra API of Cosmos DB. That sounds fantastic. Can you please show us a live demo of how this works? Definitely, Sanjay. So what you need to do is you need to, first of all, switch over to the portal of Azure. And you need to go ahead and do a new offer resources. And you'll get, basically, the Cosmos DB resource here. In a Cosmos DB resource, there are a few things. You choose your resource group. So I have you created. Uh, let me pick up one demo, and then you need to give an account. So this is a snackable demo, so let's do that. And then you need to choose the API. As you can see, that you have various choices, SQL, Mongo, and Cassandra. Okay. I will That's choose. That's where Cassandra API shows up. Exactly. Okay. Once you choose the Cassandra, you choose the location where you want this account to be created, and you choose whether you want your Cassandra API to be multi-master ready, or to have a region for your geo-redundancy. And with that, you just go ahead and create this whole thing. And it takes a few minutes, but I have already created this, so let me just go ahead and do that piece for you. Right? So once you create your Cassandra API account, you would land up in a place like this, which will display all the tables that you have got created, and also show you uh, associated throughput with them. Right? So let us just go ahead and add a table. So what does the table look like? So in normal Cassandra, we, you would use a SQL shell or you would use a code. You can still use that, but we provide a, a, a portal to actually help you create this. So let us take uh, KS4 or KS5 and just create snackable, right? Snack one. And the most important thing, which is a little different from the normal Cassandra, is the throughput that you require. This throughput is calculated as a result of the amount of CRUD requests that you perform on the platform. So let's go ahead and create that, and that's it, right? In a few seconds, we have a complete, a new Cassandra table ready for to take inputs. Wow, great, thank you. So you mentioned existing tools will work out of the box. Can you please show us an example as well? Oh, definitely. So the important part here is once you have an account ready, you can connect your existing code, you can connect your existing uh, tools, tools like SQL Shell, and tools, tools like Cassandra Stress. All of them work out of the box. So in this case, I'm just gonna pick up this information. This is the connection information for connecting to a SQL shell. Okay, there is no code change, nothing. We just pick up this information. Fortunately, I've already connected it, so let me just go ahead and pick up that information. Uh, and that information is available here. So let's go ahead, switch over, and connect to a Cassandra cluster or Cassandra API via SQLSH. Now it is connected. Uh, you can do all the re regular commands that you are used to. So you can see everything works out of the box. Of course, you will be able to do a little bit more. And what is that? You will be able to create a key space. 
you will be able to create a table. So let me just show you those pieces too, just for the completeness sake. Whatever you could do there on the portal, you can do through here. And that's the intent that you should be able to use your existing knowledge of the tools. So let's go ahead and create a key space. Let's go ahead and create a table with a particular throughput. Now this is the important part. You are telling us what is the throughput that you require. And this is, there is no code change. This works as it is, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, if we switch over to the portal, you should be able to see that the table that we just created is available here, right? So that's the T1 GSK, G, uh, under the GKS5 key space is already available. So that's in a very quick nutshell what you can do with both through the portal as well as existing tools. Thank you so much. Now, how would you scale this up to take advantage of the elasticity? Great question again, uh, Sanjay. So what you would normally see is majority of our customers spend a lot of time uh, in, spend, uh, in understanding what is the elasticity requirement like Black for, for the events like Black Friday or for the events like uh, Cyber Monday. And they end up adding nodes, adding V nodes, doing token management. In Cosmos DB's Cassandra API, you don't have to do any of those things. You can just come in and basically tell us, hey, I want 10,000 RU, uh, RUs per second. And you just do that and you can change it both through the portal as well as through the SQL shell. And just with that one second click and result, you are, your application is now ready to take 10,000 reads per second at, at this given point of time. So, Govind, how would you distribute this data across the globe? Again, uh, thank you very much, uh, Sanjay. This is the core platform capability of Cosmos DB. Yeah. And you can do this through while creating uh, our account through PowerShell or through CLI, but you can do this through to the portal itself. So let me just show you how easy that is. So on a portal, if you switch over, uh, you can uh, click on replicate the data globally. And we are a ring zero service. That simply means that wherever public data centers are present or government data centers are present, we are always gonna be there. Uh, this also means that you can just go ahead and click the regions that you wanna be present across the world and just say save. And now this particular account will start pushing data to all these other locations. Is that easy? It is that easy. Whoa. It is that simple. All right, Govind. So how can customers get started with this API? A great question, Sanjay. There are we expect two kind of customers, new applications versus existing application. Both of them require pretty much same steps. Only new step is to estimate the right amount of throughput that you require. We are gonna release data migration services and ADF support for Cassandra API pretty soon. But till then, if you have any large migration requirements, please reach out to our alias, which is Ask Cosmos DB Cassandra at Microsoft.com, right? The other popular approach that customers use today is to use Spark to move the data, which is the much more simpler and easier platform for them. Great, thank you so much for being here with us and providing all this great information. Yes, thank you very much, Sanjay, for inviting us for this particular discussion. Thank you for watching this micro learning readiness video about Azure Cosmos DB. To learn more about this and other topics, please go to azure.com forward slash Cosmos DB. Please stay tuned for more videos.